Hello guys and welcome in the sixth episode. In this episode we will create the select menu scene which will display all of the available pictures. From this scene we will be able to just click on the certain picture and load it, load it in the game. Ok, let's get started. Let's open our project. Go to the scenes folder. Right click, create, scene. I will name it many select. OK, uh, let's uh, double click on the scene. We have to remove the skybox. Go to the window, lighting, settings. Under the environment, skybox material, just press this small dot and select none. OK, we can close this window. Let's change the main camera type. Select the main camera from the projection. Change from perspective to orthographic. OK, let's add the background now. Go to the resource folder. Select the background. Make sure the texture type is sprite 2D and UI. If it's not, just select it from the list. And then click back. Apply. You should see this small arrow next to the background. Select this background, drag and drop in the scene. As you can see, this square, this uh, this re rectangle, uh, is indicating how wide the camera is. Just make sure you scale the background to the size of this camera. I will scale it to 1.01, .01, maybe 0 0.2. Set the position to 0, 0 and 1. Uh, okay, the main camera, just select it again and change the position from the 1 to 0. Okay, and then select the background and scale it a little bit more on the on the X to cover the whole the whole camera. Okay, we have it. Uh, then we will add some writings. Go to the writings folder, select the W1 writing and uh, just move it to the scene. I will set the scale for this writing to 1.6, 1.6 and then uh, 4.2 on the X, the position. Okay, we add some puzzles now. Go to the game object, create empty. I will name this object puzzles. This object will hold all of the, our puzzles. And then go to the puzzle folder, uh, select the black pool, and then in the black pool you will see the pick. Just select this texture and move it under the puzzles object. Okay, then rename this pick object to the name of the folder, which is the black pool. Make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes, as we're gonna use this name from here inside our script. Blackpool, enter, and then we will. Uh, I will set the position to zero, 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 and then set the scale to zero point three five, zero point three five. Okay, we can adjust the position now. I will move it a little bit on the side, maybe here. Okay, let's see how it looks in the in the game. Is all right. I think we can scale it up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, then we will need another component. Just uh, select add command component and uh, just type here box box and select select box collider. Okay. Then add another picture, just select the black pool, right click duplicate and then change the X position for the new object. Select the next folder from the puzzles, which is the black pool beach and then the pick image, just drag and drop it under the sprite renderer component in the sprite. Okay, you should see the picture has changed now. 
and then make sure you name it name it properly which is the Blackpool beach okay and then do the same for the rest of the pictures Let's add the back button now. Uh, go to the game object, create empty. I will name this game object back, back button. And then go to the uh, button folder, buttons folder. Select the, the button back line and drag and drop under the back button. And then select the back and then drag and drop under the back button as well. Okay. Uh, I will set the scale for the back button to 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. Okay, let's move it down a little bit and on the side. Okay, maybe a little bit more this side. Okay, and then the back. Uh, the back will be scaled to 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Eight. Make sure the the Y position for the back bottom line and the back bottom is the same. Okay, and then we want to move it to on on this line, and then make sure you set the Z position to minus one. Okay, to make sure this this bottom is in the front. I will move it like that. Okay, uh, let's reposition this picture a little bit. I will move this picture a little bit on the side as uh, I think that will be much better. Just uh, select one and hold shift to select another one if you want to move them two together. Uh, just make sure they line up, they line up a little bit more better. Okay, and then this one, I think that looks much better. Let's add some arrows to our game. Uh, let's select the right arrow and then left arrow. I think I just named them wrong a little bit. Let's set this scale to the 0 0.8 on the X for the one and for the second. Okay, and then rename it because this right arrow is actually left arrow. And then the left arrow is uh, the right arrow. Okay, uh, let's position them. Remove this right arrow side and down. I will actually set the same position, the same Y position on the, as the button, back bottom uh, line for them too, to make sure they line up properly. Okay, and then left arrow will be will go to the side. Okay, let's save the scene and save the project. Um, because we still have two more pictures to add, the shard and the tower bridge, we will create another scene and we will use this arrow to switch between them, between the two scenes. Go to the scene folder. Right click in the empty space, go to show in the explorer and then select the scenes and then right click on the menu select, copy and then right click paste. Rename this copy scene to the menu select 2, enter, okay, and then you should have another scene inside the Unity. Just double click on the menu select 2. And then go to the puzzles. I will select this city London Hall and then replace the image for the shard. And then change the name. The shard. And then I will use the select this Cardiff and ch change the picture to, to the tower bridge. 
and rename it. And then the uh, rest of them we can delete. You can add mod more pictures if you like, or you can change this one for your own graphic. It's totally up to you. Uh, as you see, you still have uh, plenty of space on this scene to actually place more picture. If not, you can create another scene and then uh, use this arrow to switch to the next scene. Uh, okay, let's save this scene and save the project. Go back to the to the menu select scene and then we will add some scripts. Just uh, go to the script folder, right click, create C sharp script. The first script will be the picture. Okay, let's add another script. Uh, menu select, menu select, let's add another script, arrow. Okay, uh, then go to the main camera and let's move the menu select uh, into, to the inspector. Okay, then uh, select the arrows, just select these two arrows. I will hold the control to select another one and then move the arrow script to the arrows. Make sure them to have the arrow script in. Okay, they have. And then go to the puzzles. Just select the black pool, hold shift and select the sunset. Make sure all of the puzzles are selected and then drag and drop the picture script. Okay. And we have to do the same for the for this menu select two. Just double click on it. Make sure you save the, the scene. And then in the main camera, we have to add the menu select script uh, to the arrows. We have to add the arrow script and to the puzzles. We have to add the picture script. Okay. Let's go back to the, to the menu select. Make sure you save the scene, go to the script folder and then uh, double click on the arrows inside the arrow script. We will have to add another line at the top. Just type using Unity Engine dot scene management as we're gonna use the scene manager to load another scene, and then we can delete the start and update method as we won't need them. Type void on the mouse down. Okay, and then if we press the mouse button. We will check the object name if game game object dot name is equal to arrow dash left. Then we will load the scene scene manager dot load level. Sorry, dot load scene, and we will load the menu menu select scene. Okay, and then if we press the arrow right, we will load the menu select too. Let's save this script. Go to the menu select script now, and then inside this script. Make sure you get the using Unity Engine Scene Management. Okay, just paste it here. And then we will need another, uh, two private objects. Just type private game object arrow left and then private game object arrow right. Okay, and then we will initialize these two arrows inside the start method. We will use the game object dot find and we will pass the arrow name. We, I will take the arrow name from here to don't make the spelling mistake. Okay, and then for the arrow right, we will initialize it with the arrow right. And then we will check 
which scene is currently loaded if scene manager dot get active scene dot name is equal to menu select I will copy this one then we will deactivate the left arrow set active equal to false and then if if the current loaded scene is scene number two the menu select two we will deactivate the right arrow okay then save it go to the puzzles uh, sorry go to the pictures class we will add the function on mouse down mm, void on mouse down okay and then one thing which we need to do is uh, we have to change uh, one variable inside the game manager go to the game manager uh, in the last episode we have created the folder name this is the variable which is which is setting to the name of the folder from which we loading the picture we will set this variable from the from another script now to access it we will have to set it to static the static keyword allowed us to access these variables by referencing the class name which is the game manager let's save it and then go back to the pictures and then whenever we press any of the picture we're gonna set this this variable the folder name with the name of the of the picture which we press okay uh, let's call it a game manager dot folder name we can access this variable like that because we have set it to static uh, we will initialize it with game object which is the current object which we clicked dot name okay and then we will load the level and then make sure you just put the right uh, level name oh, we will have to using this scene management as well just copy it from here and paste it to the pictures I will go back to the unity to just check the right name okay uh, we will load game scene game scene okay let's save it now let's go back to the unity before we can test it we have to do one more thing we have to add these two two levels to the build of the unity otherwise the unity won't know about them and uh, the level will the this scene won't be loaded go to the file build settings and then add open scenes we have add the menu select and then open the menu select too and then press add open scene make sure that you have a uh, three scenes here the game scene menu select and menu select too okay we can close this window go back to the menu select and press play and as you can see the the right arrow is active because we are on the menu select if we press on the arrow it's nothing happened I think this is because oh yes we uh, I forgot to add the box collider to the arrows just select the arrows two of them press add component and then choose the box collider otherwise the arrows won't work and do the same in the menu select two scene select these two arrows add component box collider okay go back to the menu select make sure you save the scene and then try again okay we can press the arrow now and go to the choose picture which is the menu select to scene we can go back we can go back and forward and then if we choose any of this picture for example let's choose the Buckingham Palace as you can see the Buckingham Palace is loaded properly into the game okay let's try again for another picture from a different scene let's choose the tower bridge and the tower bridge is loaded correctly okay uh, there is one thing which I need to mention if you try to start the game now from the game scene and then press play 
you won't see any picture because the folder variable which is inside the main camera and you can't see it now because that variable is static is not set to anything that's why always when you want to test this game make sure you start from one of this scene okay that's pretty much it for this episode in the next episode uh, we will implement the back button behavior we will add the main menu scene and we will start to uh, work on in-game menu thank you guys for watching and see you again in the next episode